Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. Uh, this video I'm going to talk a little bit about finding the volume of a hemisphere. So those of you who don't know what a hemisphere is, a hemisphere is exactly half a sphere. So if I take a three-dimensional ball, and I, well, I got sort of, I got sort of a hemisphere here, my uh, little guy's Easter egg. So if I have exactly half of that, so picture this being completely spherical, which is, isn't, and this would be half of a hemisphere, so just like that. Well, half a sphere, which would be a hemisphere. So we basically divide this sphere in two, and then, you know, get rid of this bottom half. So, essentially what we have is exactly half the volume of a sphere. So a lot of people think of it like this. 4 over 3 pi r cubed is the volume of a sphere. So all I have to do is take that number and divide it by 2. So if you're, if you're looking for something to do, this is basically what most of my students do. They find the volume of a sphere, then they divide it by 2. Some people prefer this formula, 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So that will get you the volume of the hemisphere as well. So basically it's not having, it's half of this fraction. So half of this fraction will be 2 over 3. So divide that 4 by 2 which gives you 2 over 3. So either one of these ways is perfectly fine. I'm, I prefer this way. The reason why is because this formula is not generally given, but if you know generally the volume of sphere is something that's given to you on a test perhaps, and if not, you need to remember sphere more than hemisphere. So if you remember a sphere, then all you need to know is remember to divide it by 2 instead of having to worry about this fraction that's there. So let's give it a shot. Let's try a question. So let's try... Um, a hemisphere that has a radius of 10. So a really simple question. So let's find the volume of the sphere. So 4 over 3 pi 10 cubed. So that's the volume of my sphere. And then just remember I have to divide it by 2. So I'm go ahead and do that. So let me see. I have uh, and generally what I do guys for this is I do the top 4 pi 10 cubed divided by 3 so 4 times pi times 10 cubed then I divide by 3 so that's my sphere right there and then all I do is take that number and then I divide it by 2 and this gives me my hemisphere 2094 call it meters meters cubed and that's really it that is how you find the volume of a hemisphere so the volume of a hemisphere is exactly half of that of a sphere. So I hope this helps you guys on solving a, some of your math questions. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in class.